Hey guys, it's Mr. Schmidt here, and in this video, I'm going to cover the answers to question one from set two of the 2019 AP Microeconomics exams free response questions. And just like set one, uh, you were given a monopoly uh, to draw, and so the first part of the question about gigantic pharmaceutical corporation is basically, okay, draw the monopoly and then show consumer surplus, and we know they're making a profit. So let's go ahead and draw that. Uh, we've got our quantity and our price, and then we've got uh, demand, marginal revenue, uh, and then, of course, marginal cost. And we have to put ATC, minimum ATC, below demand because they are making a economic profit. There we go. And then we also need to show uh, consumer surplus. So to do that, we're going to have to label uh, our profit maximizing quantity, which would be QG, and then our profit maximizing uh, price, if you will, which is PG. And then consumer surplus is the area below the price, below the demand curve. And so I'll shade that in with a red. It's going to be this triangle right here. There we go. And so that's letter A. On to letter B, which has us looking at uh, the demand for the prescription drug increases. And we know that Gigantic is going to hire its workers in a perfect competitive labor market. So what's going to happen to Gigantic's demand for warehouse workers? And so the idea behind B1 is the idea of derived demand. So we know that their demand for workers is going to increase... Uh, because uh, Gigantic um, wants to hire more workers to meet increased demand uh, for product. So the idea here is that with derived demand, that if, the, if there's an increase in demand for your product, there's going to be an increase in demand for the workers because we need more workers to make more product. Simple enough. And then for B2, it says what's going to happen to the wage rate, gigantic pays, and the number of warehouse workers it hires. Now, you may be tempted to say, oh, well, the wage rate's going to increase because there's going to be an increase in demand for workers. But that's in the market. Remember, the perfectly competitive firm, which Gigantic is in terms of its resource of labor, they're a wage taker, which means they can't set the wage. And even if they want more workers, they can't pay them more money because they're just one firm in a large ocean of, of employers. And therefore, because of that, the wage rate will not change. Now... It will hire more workers, so it will uh, increase in workers hired. Okay, And so you can think of this, if you remember uh, our um, perfectly competitive firm in terms of the uh, labor market, we know that marginal revenue product is downward sloping. But remember, the marginal resource cost, which is the wage, is um, perfectly elastic. And so basically what we're doing is we're just shifting this uh, to the right. And so you notice the wage, we'll call this W1, isn't changing. So that's letter B. And then letter C says, after Gigantic's patent expires, another firm enters the prescription drug market and produces an identical drug that sells for a lower price. So for C1, what's going to happen to Gigantic's uh, producer surplus? Well, the answer here is it's going to decrease. Remember that producer surplus is the difference between what I actually get for my product and what I'm willing to accept. Well, the problem is, is the price of the product has decreased, which means I'm not going to get as much producer surplus as before because that difference between those two things is smaller. And then for C2 wants to know, okay, what about consumer surplus? Well, that's going to increase, okay? Basically, what's happening here is that producer surplus is being transferred to consumer surplus, and it wants to know why. And um, the answer here is because the difference between uh, 
uh, this is kind of long here, what a consumer is willing to pay and what she actually pays increases due to lower price of drug. There you have it. So that is the answer to the uh, question one of set two of the 2019 AP microeconomics exams free response section. Until next time, have a great day.